Hello, Danny. Hey, William. Chiquito. How are you? Fantastic. Yeah. Welcome to my town. Thank you. That's my house. Hola, mi gente. Danny Orellana here for Yo Soy Latino Cleveland. And today I am with my friend Julian Tavares from the Cleveland Indians, former pitcher. And he's welcomed me into his home. Welcome you as well. Hey, Danny, hey, let me show you something. Let me show you a little bit about my collection. Let's Come go. This is, this is my favorite place here. Look, Danny. This is my Indian collections out here. All my base was tough, see? I got my India, my 1995. Nobody has money to buy this, because it's not for sale. This is amazing here. <laughs> you like it? This is just a, a look. A fan. This is a, this is a fan's dream here. <laughs> Tell us a little bit more of what you have going on here, because this is obviously a love of baseball. It's not just Tavares. It's not just Indians. It's baseball in general, and I am just in awe. Well, Danny, look, what I do, you know, I play for 11 different teams, and uh, I like to collect baseball stuff, because I love baseball. Even though I retire, I still love baseball, and I always do. I go to support my Indian every time I can. I go down in the state and progress it. Look, I got my World Baseball Classic, my first one, 2006, representing my Dominican country. Of course. My Indian 1995 World Series, you know, this is my Coco Crips. Coco is yes, a good are. friend of mine. David Ortiz, Big Papi. You know, Jonathan Papabon, good teammate. My Sammy Sosa from Dominican. See? You got my Sammy, Big Papi, 95. Now, we all know you're good friends with uh, Manny. What about Manny? Oh, let me show you something about Manny. Look, I collect Manny jersey. I collect Manny jersey. Why, it's Manny? He's my good friend. You know, this is our star game. My good friend. And if Manny see the show, Manny, hello. I know you're working with the cop. Go <laughs> cops, too. You know, I, I run it for the cop. Now, that takes me to my favorite piece here in oh. this room. It has to be this picture here in the corner. Tell us a little bit more about that. This is my Latino connection. This is my 95. You want to know who they are? Those Let's are see all I'm, familiar faces. Those are all familiar faces. Tony Pena, Alvaro Espinosa, Jose Mesa, Denny Martinez, El Presidente of Nicaragua, Sandy Alomar, Julio Franco, Carlos Barrega, Manny Ramirez. You know who it is, right? Tavares. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> yeah, this now is my this Latino is a, connection. You obviously have lived an amazing life. You've accomplished a lot. Why don't... It wasn't always like that. Uh, tell us a little bit more about growing up in uh, the Dominican Republic. Uh, yes, I can tell you something about that. My life wasn't that easy. That was a rough life. You know, I grew up being away from my dad. My dad used to work uh, construction about two hours away from my city. My mama used to work in the tobacco factory from seven in the morning to seven at night. And I used to stay in a small house, one bedroom house with my sister. And uh, a lot of time to feed my stomach, I had to go clean shoes, do a favor for people, you know. And uh, they watched me growing up and uh, some people, they make fun of me, saying that I wasn't gonna make it because my life was rough, it was tough. Wow. Even my mom, you know, she said, why you just don't quit playing ball? I said, mom, my dream is to be a baseball player. And I will, I believe God say, I will help you if you help yourself. If you believe in yourself, I believe in you can do it. And when did you know, when did you just have that gut feeling that you knew you were gonna be a major league baseball player? Since people started to make fun of me, since I was like 12, they all say, I'm not gonna make it. They all laughing at me, because I was so skinny, you know. They say, this guy had no lunch in his house, no clothes, nothing. How he think he's gonna be a major league baseball player? Look here, look here, so skinny. Oh yeah, you're gonna be a major league baseball player. Yeah, all right. That gave me some strength for me to continue and try harder and harder and harder. Prove them wrong. Yeah, and prove myself that I can do it too. So Donald Down came to the Dominican Republic when I was 16 years old in Winston Jenna, and they have an Indian tryout and uh, they saw me, you know, and uh, they just uh, offered me a thousand dollar and I signed with the Indian. So I was uh, one of the lucky ones, you know, so the Indian gave me a chance right away 
to play in the major league. And I'm glad they did. Yeah, I'm glad they did too. You know, I put out some number down there and they don't want to call me up because I cannot speak English. I cannot speak English. I was like, how can we bring this kid to the major league? Now you've been all over the country and why Cleveland home? Oh, Cleveland, first of all, because my son Trent, right here. My son Trent, I love Trent very much, and that's where he lives. And uh, number two, Cleveland is the best city out of 51 states, I believe it is in the United States. I never went to college, but I believe it's 51. Cleveland to me is number one to raise a child. Number three, the fans. The fans are so nice, they recognize me everywhere I go. They're really nice to me in the mall when I go out to eat. You know, they still love me like I'm still active, like I'm still playing with them. We do, there. we do. And I, <laughs> I thank you for having me and bringing me into your home, Julian. It was a pleasure. And um, folks, for those of you who are just tuning in right now, if you want to catch up, make sure you log on to latinocleveland.com and stay tuned to WKYC because when we come back, you'll have more Joseph Latino Cleveland right after this. And you might see Chiquito going deep. <laughs> <laughs> That's all against me, you know. <laughs> I might throw my slider to Chiquito, you know. <laughs> Have a good one. Thank you for having me.